Mage, Mr. Skywrath Mage. Start yes, just that's, start that's, over. That's me. Just start over. God damn it, I was doing good that time. I was like fucking John Malkovich in gotcha. that scene, dude. Mr. Mage, Mr. Skywrath Mage. Yes, that is me. And Ms. Vengeful Spirit. Yeah, you're talking to her. Oh my uh, god. Oh my. And this has been a dot P outtake. This is Wazoo from Defense of the Patients, a Dota 2 podcast. We'd like to thank you all for listening and hope you're enjoying the content we're providing. If you are, please remember to tell a friend. Swing by iTunes to give us a funny or positive review. We'll read the best on the show. You can also find us on Twitter at .p underscore show or defenseofthepatients.com. We release new content every Monday and Thursday. Hope you guys join along. Thanks. Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Roland from Defense of the Patients, and I'm here to bring you a very special episode, and that is an episode of Just Me. We have been extremely busy as of late, and when I say we, I mean Syphus, Wazoo, and I. Um, we all go to the same university, and we're all studying intensive things in different fields, and fall semester just started, and we are getting ready to get our undergrad over with, and move on to the wonderful world of graduate school. I kind of wanted to uh, talk to you all today um, about kind of my role on defense of the patients, what I do, what uh, I plan on doing in the future, or I guess what we plan on doing, I should say. Um, with Defense of the Patients, and just kind of, you know, the motivation behind it all. Um, and it really kind of starts with with Cyphus and I, and Cyphus's love for podcasts. He especially loves Adam Carolla and, and quite a few others. Uh, Doug Benson, I believe he, he enjoys his podcast, and many more. And, and To be honest with you all, um, I have never listened to a podcast, or I never listened to a podcast before making a podcast, which it's a pretty crazy experience um, just jumping in and and making a podcast. Just to give you a little backstory on me and what I've been doing with my life, I invested all my time in a variety of three or so bands, none of which really made it anywhere, and when I was... Uh, a little bit younger, I decided, you know, it was time to say goodbye to that, unfortunately. And it was, it was hard, to, and, but it was, it was time to say goodbye and to move on to a new adventure, which was pursuing an academic degree. I didn't know what it was going to be in at the time, but I knew I, I wanted to further my knowledge just in general. So, you know, I did, and... I'm here now, and but throughout all that time, I was I was playing video games a lot, mostly um, StarCraft One and StarCraft Two. StarCraft Two, I played almost more competitively than I played Dota Two. I was ranked somewhere in the high platinum, uh, most diamond from here here and there, but really, I think my true score was platinum, and I. I played random, and I really enjoyed my time, but I will tell you that when I found um, Dota 2, it just, I don't know, I just realized that this game was, it's beautifully built, it really is. Um, The complexity that goes into it, the creativity that goes into it, and also the simplicity, um, it's a perfect idea, it really is, and that's what really attracted me to Dota 2, was there it it appeals to everybody um i mean mathematically speaking i think you all know by now that um i'm kind of a a math geek and and i love being able to run numbers run numbers on certain things on certain stats how things would work it's really cool to kind of follow standard deviants brian petty and the fridge master and all those guys who who do these stats on how common different item builds are how common this hero goes this skill and when and it's really interesting so immediately i was attracted to uh dota 2 
And like I said, the whole journey started with Cyphus and I, and Cyphus always wanted to make podcasts, and I was always kind of, you know, wanting to do something with sound engineering. Um, I did get a certificate in Pro Tools that I am Pro Tools certified, whatever the hell that means, and that was basically eight months of training uh, to do that. Um, I don't even use Pro Tools. I'm not going to tell you what I use, but I don't even use Pro Tools, but I am certified. And yeah, anyway, sorry, I keep I, I keep uh, going on tangents. Cyphus was like, you know what, we should start a podcast. And I was like, yeah, you know, I don't really know anything about a podcast. And it was like, well, you know, we should start one on Dota 2. What do we do? We, we go and we talk about Dota 2 and we talk about that team composition or whatever. And I was, but I kept saying, but we don't know shit about this game. And, and then we realized that's the point. Um, most people that play this game don't know shit about this game which was the which was the best part was um there's so many people out there and i don't mean that rude that we're just trying to learn this this crazy thing which is the doto and it is it's 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 you have to study harder than i've had to study for some some college courses as in what things do how how certain things will process other certain things um how you know just basically, it all fits together, and how, how would you go and balance, you know, 100 plus heroes to make one hero not stronger than another hero in a certain composition was just absolutely fascinating to me, and still continues to be fascinating to me. So we made this podcast, and we got Wazoo, who had been playing Dota forever, and, and he got us in to Dota 2, so I mean, all the thanks to him. And, I mean, as you all know, he's hilarious and, and fun to have on this show. But he got us, he got both Cyphus and I into um, this uh, game, and we decided we're going to make a podcast. Fuck it. We're going to make a podcast. And I was like, I have all this equipment um, from my being a musician in a past life. And we threw it together, and we threw it on the internet, and holy shit did it catch on um extremely quickly we were all so pleasantly surprised at this community's willingness to accept a new idea because usually new ideas are scary right i mean that's been the reason for for war is is new ideas and and people just listened to it um liked it uh started adding us on twitter following us and this is, to be honest with you, my first experience with Twitter was for this, and uh, it was it was exciting to see like these are these are real people all over the world that want to know what we have to say about Dota Two, this game that that Cyphus and I have only been playing for a short amount of time, and Wazoo, relatively speaking, a short amount of time. I can't believe that we're releasing an episode every Monday and Thursday, and. People are consistently writing in, we, we like what you're doing. We want to hear more. Having these guests on, like Greg Laird and, and Jordan Hansen and Gorgon the Wonder Cow and that Phage guy. It's just been pretty incredible to meet all these people from all around the world. And, and I thank you for that. Cyphus and I and Wazoo all feel very blessed to be in a position that we're in, that we are able to study what we want to study and enjoy a video game and a community with all of you and to have all of you be so open to this idea of we're doing a podcast about a video game i mean 20 years ago no one would have put a cassette in their car to listen about a, a video game but now we have this game dota 2 which a lot like chess there is renewable content there's always going to be some new trend some new thing to do and it's, it's really exciting to, to be a part of it. Dota, Defense of the Ancient, has been around for a long time. But it still feels like we're getting in, we're getting in early. People want to start rooting for the mind opposed to the body. Because after all, the mind is the most magnificent part. I think we can all agree there. And I'm excited. I am. I'm excited to, to be making a podcast first and foremost. I also edit the podcast here on Defense of the Patients. I spend anywhere from four to six hours an episode editing and and adding the musical interludes that we may have or doing our public service announcements or what you'll hear before this episode, which was um, 
an outtake. Basically, <laughs> we were all trying to do the premise of Cyphus was going to be the, the mediator between couples therapy with Vengeful Spirit and Skyrath Mage. And I was going to be Vengeful Spirit, <laughs> and Wazoo was going to be Skyrath Mage. <laughs> And as you can see, we got about that far before we just, we couldn't stop laughing. We kept playing sound clips and I got nowhere close to sounding like a, a vengeful spirit. So it was fun. <laughs> it was hilarious. And it's, and it's fun, most of all. Like, I know I just said that and I'm repeating myself, but it is fun to, to talk about Dota 2 and, and the intricacies there, therein. And also... The people who have laid the groundwork. In many episodes, I've mentioned these these Dota pioneers. And I really would like to pay my respects to them. And, and those are the, the people who have been in this scene since it began. That have taught all of us through like trickle-down economics, I guess you could say. How the game works and how to view this game. But the, the great thing is, is it's not too late. The game is still changing and still evolving. Dota 2 now is nothing like Dota 2 a year ago or Dota 2 one year from now. It will constantly be evolving and and ever changing and and that's also excite an exciting process uh, prospect is right now we're basically doing a log. That's what defense of the patience is. It's a log of us getting better as players um even though it doesn't seem feel like we are. And uh getting people in in the scene involved and having guests who are very good at this game on and kind of mentor us and also give us kind of a rundown of what it took to be in the position that they are in. And it's interesting because everybody in this scene has a similar story. And, and it's similar to our story here at Defense of the Patients, and that's that if you try... The, room will be made for you. I mean, if you if you have any interest in being involved in making content for this video game Dota 2, trust me, people will be accepting of your ideas and and critique them or praise them, what have you. It's it's pretty amazing. Um it's also amazing that it's all through a computer and an internet connection and we can reach so many thousands of people with a show with just three friends talking about a video game that we play. It is truly uh, a new renaissance, uh, this, this age we live in, where we are able to communicate and build relationships and, and reach so many people with such little effort, I guess I should say. But anyway, um, I've been rambling too long now, so I appreciate um, you guys listening. You can reach us at uh, Twitter, at dot P underscore show, or email uh, defenseofthepatients at gmail.com, or just our website, defenseofthepatients.com, or on iTunes. And once again, I sincerely want to thank you for tuning in. I'm sorry this week we don't have a full episode for you. But I hope this gave you a little bit of insight on what I do here on Defense of the Patients and kind of how it came to be. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, you're talking to her.